lots of different things come into the mind, some of them because we want them to, and some of them without our wanting. The things that come into the mind without our wanting come from the past karma. But we have the choice. That's our karma in the present moment, is the choice we make to follow along with these things or not to. This is why the Buddha said it was so important not to believe that everything you do or everything you experience has to come from past karma, because if it did, you'd have no choices. You wouldn't be able to make any difference. But making a difference is what the path is all about. That you can choose to go with something, and you can choose not to go with something. And you can observe your mind clearly enough so you can see if something really is skillful, something is not skillful. In other words, if you run with it, if it's skillful, then it'll take you to a good place. If it's unskillful, it will cause harm. And you can learn how to see that in the mind. And then no matter how strong the things are that are coming in from the past, you can hold on to your determination to go only with what's skillful, not to feed the unskillful voices. So think of the mind as having a committee. There's a group in there, many different voices, many different opinions, a lot of them coming from the past. But we're working on new opinions, skillful opinions. That's what right view is all about. The realization that certain things are unskillful. If you go with thoughts that are involved in sensuality, ill will, harmfulness, they're going to lead to harm down the line. And you can say no to them. Thoughts that are free from harm, that are looking for renunciation, in other words, finding Happiness in ways that don't involve sensuality. Happiness in ways that don't cause any harm to anybody at all. Okay, those are thoughts that are skillful. You want to run with them, encourage them, and you have the choice. You can make a difference. So no matter how strong the unskillful voices are, you hold on to your skillful intentions now. And that will see you through. Because sometimes they come as a storm. But it is possible to ride out the storm. In other words, you take down your sails so you don't let the storm winds blow you around. You batten down the hatches, and you find some spot in the mind that's safe, that's not being blown around. You stay there. And after a while, the storm will have to pass. It may come again, but at least you know that it's not there all the time. It comes and it goes. There are these voices in the mind that say, well, we're going to stay here until you give in to us. And you think, well, if I give in to them, then they'll go away. They don't go away. They come back stronger the next time. So you have to be firm in your determination not to go with the unskillful voices. And after a while, they begin to weaken, because you're strengthening the skillful intentions inside. That's what we're trying to develop here as we Engage in what's called bhavana, development. Develop your skillful voices, develop your skillful strengths. So they become indriya, as they say. They take charge. 